are so many people in this world that are fighting and struggling so many difficult things. Basically, I just got on the scale for the first time in a week and something happened to me that hasn't happened in a really long time and it's really frustrating or it was and now I'm feeling sad and I'll tell you why because I caught on the scale and I actually have lost weight since last week and I'm sorry if this is triggering for you this is just one of those things that I need to talk about um and so my eating disorder voice was like, yay, you lost weight, that's great. But then I turned around and I looked in the mirror and my BDD had come back, my body dysmorphic disorder that I worked really, really hard to get rid of. And I sat there staring at myself in the mirror for like an hour, picking myself apart, wanting to cut, wanting to beat myself up, wanting to die all over a stupid little and then I logged on to YouTube and it just so happened to pop up in my feed um, that video about that sweet little girl Talia Talia um, who passed away a couple years ago and she was like this little angel makeup little guru cancer patient. She's incredible. Go check out her channel. I'll put it in the link below. Um, and I just happened to come across one of her videos and it was a video from her sister. Like, the video of her sister. I'm pretty sure it's her sister announcing her death and talked about how, like, how she wants her memory to live on, how she wants to start a makeup line to try and keep, get her biggest goal in life done for her, like things like that. And I saw the pain in her sister's eyes from not having her hair. And it made me um, selfishly, but also it's a really good thing. It made me realize that how painful it would be for for my mom and my family of course but especially for my husband if I died and I've been so close to death for years now and after a while it just starts to feel <laughs> like it just doesn't matter what you do it doesn't matter <laughs> I'm never going to get better, and here I am with a perfectly functioning, not perfectly, <laughs> but a functioning body that could be out there helping people or visiting old people or doing something to help the world, and that little girl did everything she could to reach the world and to show what it's like to be positive through every heart situation. She is so unfortunate she had to go so young, but her message was beautiful. And I remember crying when I first heard she died when she did die, because I was a huge fan of her from, from Ellen. I was a huge fan. Um, so when she died, I seriously cried. And you guys know I don't cry often. Um, tears are difficult for me to let out, but... Um, Anyway, it just was weird the way it happened tonight that right after I was beating myself up for an hour and basically telling myself that I deserved every little disease that I have in my brain because I must have done something wrong to deserve it. And then to have that video be the first thing that popped up in my sidebar on YouTube. <sighs> It just made me care a little bit 
it made me care a little bit to see that that little girl had a disease and it's not even comparable. Mine is not even comparable to what she had. No child should have to go through childhood cancer or any any horrible illness like that that kills them slowly and painfully and but it made me realize that um maybe I don't maybe I also don't deserve to feel bad about this. Maybe I don't feel... There are children every day that are dying. There are children in other countries who don't have food. And it's in these moments where I think about it that I used to beat myself up even more, which would then trigger my eating disorder. But for some reason tonight, however this happened, I for the very first time in a long, ever probably actually, felt like it's time for me to stop hating myself. Because I don't have cancer, but I do have a disease. And it's a serious disease that people are dying from slowly and painfully. Nothing compared to cancer in my opinion, but it's awful, you guys know that. Um, But I guess it just brought up some deep feelings of maybe I do deserve, like, to fight for myself, not just to fight for my family and my husband and you guys, to help you guys, but also to fight harder for me as... I can't tell you how frustrated I was because I really have worked so hard, <laughs> so hard to get rid of my BDD, my body dysmorphic disorder, that, that part of my mental illness had gone away completely. Like, I don't, it's been quite, probably a few months that since I've seen that in the mirror, since I've, like, I felt like my eyes were starting to clear up. I felt like I was starting to see things for how they really were and that I had somehow conquered this awful disease that some people are debilitated by, but then just like that, there it was again. So anyway, long story short, I'm very grateful for this experience today. I'm grateful for that little girl still. I know it's been a while since she passed, but I still think about her and I'm grateful for her. Um. No little girl should have to go through that, but I'm really grateful that she shared what she did and that she gave us, she gave this world such a beautiful example of no matter what you're going through, you're allowed to fight for yourself and you're allowed to still be happy and bring joy and positivity in your life and not negativity and not pain. Like, there are things that we can do our, ourselves we just have to do it to make us happier, but it takes energy and time and thought and it takes trying, doing. You actually have to do something. And that's always been hard for me, but that's what I learned through her. And I'm learning and not just her, but so many people I'm learning that from. And I guess I'm just feeling I was feeling frustrated and now I'm just feeling really grateful and really, I don't know, I just thought I should share this with you guys. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so anyway, as far as the hard part goes, um, I just want you guys to know out there that you're not alone and that if you are 
ever struggling and feeling like the world is seriously literally going to cave in on you you're not alone in that feeling I'm there with you I've been there with you um, but I can honestly say that I've felt little glimpses here and there of what it's like to not be in that and that feeling is worth fighting for and it might take me a while to get there and it might take you guys a while to get there if you're struggling but just know that I'm here with you and you're not alone and I really truly believe that through positivity and God especially is what I believe but also if you don't believe in God then I would say love through love through we can get through these things especially if we have each other so yeah that's all I don't know what this was but thanks for listening and I love that little angel and I love you guys thank you for your support so Okay, I'll talk to you in another video. Bye.